You know, in um, Nehemiah chapter 1, uh, this is the most amazing thing. You know, in chapter 1 of Nehemiah, uh, Nehemiah is, um, he's there and he gets a report back about the people that were in Jerusalem. And he says, he, he says, and he said to me, how are the survivors who left from the captivity in the province, um, how are they doing? And Hanani, his brother, who just came back from uh, Jerusalem, he says, the people are in great distress. The walls are broken down and the gates are burned with fire. So in Nehemiah chapter one, Nehemiah gets this report about his brethren that are in great distress. The walls are broken down. The gates are burned with fire. And I love this because immediately Nehemiah starts praying to, the God, to God. And in Nehemiah chapter one, he says, I pray, Lord God of heaven, great and awesome God, you who keep your covenant and your mercy with those who love you and observe your commandments, please let your ear be attentive and your eyes open that you may hear the prayers of your servant, which I pray before you night and day. So if you read Nehemiah chapter one, he's crying out to the Lord. He's saying, oh Lord, great and awesome God. And, and then he starts, you know, he's confessing the sins. He says, we blew it, but you're awesome and you're God. And then he starts remind, reminding them of his word. He says, Lord, you said in your word that if we came back to you, that you would restore us and heal us. So in Nehemiah chapter one, he's just, this amazing prayer of this broken man who gets a report about God's people. And he just, it's just so amazing that the whole thing, Nehemiah chapter one, is just this amazing prayer, okay? And then in Nehemiah chapter two, it's so amazing because in Nehemiah chapter two, after he finishes this prayer, the next thing you know, he's standing before the king the most powerful king of the world, and, and Artaxerxes, and Artaxerxes sees that he's sad and goes, why are you sad? And he says, you know, I've never been sad in the presence of the king. And he goes, and the king asked him what the problem was. And he says, my people are in great distress. Uh, the walls are broken down and the gates are burned with fire. And then Artaxerxes says, what do you request? And I love it because it says the Lord granted him his request according to the good hand of God, it was upon him. You know, when the king asked him, what do you want? If you read in Nehemiah 2, he gave him a huge list of things that he wanted. He even asked if he could get a house if he goes back to Jerusalem to minister to these people. Think about this. This is the most amazing thing. In Nehemiah chapter 1, he's crying out to the Lord. He has no idea what's going to happen. And in Nehemiah chapter 2, Artaxerxes gives a command for Nehemiah to go back and to restore and rebuild Jerusalem. You know, this is also an amazing thing because in Daniel chapter nine, there was a prophecy. Uh, Gabriel gave Daniel a prophecy and he says, know this and understand that when the command goes forth to restore and rebuild Jerusalem, it'll be 483 years to the Messiah. When Artaxerxes gave that command in Nehemiah 2 for, Art for Nehemiah to go back, that kicked off one of the most amazing prophecies that predicted the exact day that Jesus came into Jerusalem. Not only that, but in 52 days from that amazing prayer in Nehemiah chapter 1, 52 days later, the walls were built. And it was so amazing that even the enemies of God said it was amazing. Listen, you have no idea if you're, well, you have no idea what can happen when you call upon the Lord in your day of trouble because he says, I'll answer you and show you great and awesome things. Hey, men ought to always pray and not lose heart. Seek the Lord while he may be found. You don't know what can happen. Listen, in the Bible, the word hope, it means the absolute expectation that something great is going to happen. So call upon the Lord and expect this great and awesome God to do something in your life. And I pray God blesses you. In Jesus' name, amen. Come and fill me up. I'm empty without you here. Fill this broken cup.
Cause